Okay, I think we are about ready. Let's see. Everything's all good to go. Volume's off on the TV, just in case, even though I don't think that would matter with this case, but I'm sure. Phone's going, there we go. Okay, so about to start. I won't be able to really extend today. I can I can really only go about two hours. And that's all I can really do. I got stuff to do. Sadly. But it is what it is. So I'm going to try to get what I can done. Alright. Let's give this another go. Okay. So... I'm thinking I want to try to, uh, I want to try to, uh, really utilize some of this. So, the first few turns are probably going to be very similar. But I'm thinking I'm going to get Sheeta. Magma and Rhodey right here. Sheeta will be able to uh, start flying, and I can just set her like right here out of the way. Hopefully, Rhodey will get attacked by the Berserker. And if he gets hit by too much damage, uh, I could just have Sheeta block the path. That's kind of what I'm thinking. If it gets really bad, I could just block all the forts while everyone else tries to escape and get to the other side. I already know I'm not really going to use Sheeta, so I'm just going to have her go over here already. These guys don't spawn until someone at least lands here or past that. You can get close. Ryan and Warren go here. Lind. And Rhodey, I guess, can kind of stay close. this first batch of enemies is what we do it. Hey, Juice, how's it going? i uh, just letting you know... Oh. My ad's almost done. Should be done by now. Uh, yeah, uh, just letting you know, I won't really be able to extend today. I can really only go to about the two-hour mark. I have stuff going on a little later, sadly. But I'm going to try to get what I can done. I got some stuff going on later. What's going on your end, Juice? The 13, strength, skill, speed, luck. And go right here. You didn't get hit, so you're fine. Cheetah is gonna go over here. Mount. 
think everyone else can just wait. Yes. The desert took me a single attempt. I, I didn't lose at all in the desert. You just got back from playing with early Pokemon Go. And you're, you have a day off today. Very nice. Can you go a bit later, maybe? Okay, okay. And again, sadly, I can't, uh, I can't really stream. I can't extend my stream today. I got stuff going on, so. About two hours is about as far as I can go. Okay, let's give it a go. But yeah, I... The desert took me one attempt. I didn't know Ashida was that close. Oh, I didn't realize that. Dang it. That changes things. I didn't realize she was that close to him. These dragons have so much movement. Well, the flying ones, anyway. But they have like nine. No, probably ten, because I think the Draco Knights can have ten. Monogma, you can survive this. You gotta dodge. You gotta dodge. I know you can do this. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Uh. Oh, damn. They have 12 movement. I didn't catch they had that much movement. If I were to attempt to attack, I would not be able to get the payout. Okay, so... Oh, there's nothing I can do. There's not much I can really do about it. That sucks. I messed up. Yeah, that attack range is ridiculous. I'm just getting the death counter, like, ready to go. There you go. Level 14, strength and luck. I, I, I doubt we'll keep it. Uh, for now, what I'll do... We're gonna have Bonsu go here and go ahead and weaken the dragon. Bonsu only takes like two damage here. of the Iron Bow. Okay. Ryan took some damage, but I'll live. Well, yeah. Uh, anything else been going on, Juice? Uh, I can't say much is going on on my end. Just kind of been working on little projects here and there. If I have Lind go up and attack, she'll get attacked too. That's not a good idea. I think I'll just let Bontu get attacked. I'm gonna 
heal Atma. Just kind of, I've just kind of been working on like small things here and there. As I'm trying to get rid of some big furniture, plus add, build up some like shelves and stuff. So it's kind of just work on things here and there when I can. Um, okay. I need someone. Dodging, that's nice. That's kind of what I need. Ouch. But I knew he could survive. Okay, good. The others. I can have Bantu weaken one. I can have Lind take out one. I could have Warren attack. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Uh, Ryan? With an attack of 20, not enough. With an attack of 23, that is enough. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to get a kill when I can. I was thinking sh swapping shards, but no, the, the first few rounds, first few fights, I kind of just need to get what I can. Fourteen strength, speed, weapon level. At least we got what I would want. Lind, go here, use aura, get your kill. guy. Then, I'll have uh, Navar go here with the steel and go for it. But yeah, uh, the desert took a while for me to finish. Uh, I did end up getting every item in the desert. Took me a while to do that, though. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to have Cecile trade everything over to Rody. I also found the secret shop, which I didn't know what was there, but when I was looking at where all the items were... Uh, I got spoiled on the fact that there was, uh, was stuff there. So, so I found the secret shop in chapter in the desert chapter, and I got every item from the desert chapter. And it's a good thing I did because all of those were achievements anyway. So. With all the items in the desert chapter, I waited until... I tried to see what I could get. And... When I got to the point where it was time to actually finish the chapter, I decided to... 
Once all the enemies were taken out, I, I looked at a map of where everything was located. Who knew there was something in the bottom left corner? And in the top left corner as well, where you need a flying unit just to reach. Okay. All the big threats. Thief powers cannot get you the one on the top left corner, though. Because that's on a cliffside, and flyers are the only ones that could get there. Also, Julian's speed isn't, or movement isn't the best in deserts. Okay. Does anyone need healing? I mean, Bantu, but he Okay, Ryan does. Yes. Wait, what is your... But yeah, that was a first attempt. This one, this is probably my good tenth attempt. Like, I was getting a lot of deaths. Agma. He's going to the right. Okay. So I already know that uh, reinforcements will show up on these three forts. Uh, once someone lands on these forts at the very least, or moves past. But I want to try to give Rody some EXP. And because I'm on the forts, I am going to go ahead and be on my horse. Uh, yeah, we'll stick with the iron. So the plan right now is to go ahead and let Agma stand here. Cecile go this way. And I want to make sure my other units get out of range of a berserker. The middle one's a dragon, the two on the sides are the ac are the double axe users. I'm hoping Rody can get the fights in. I don't really want to cross it just yet. I want to give Sheeta and uh, Agma a, a quick chance to heal. But while I'm trading Rody over here, and he has a bunch of uh, strength and, I guess, defense boost and stuff with this, Navarre's currently holding on to these. And not only am I going to try to train Navarre on this side, I'm going to also try to train Cecile. She needs it a lot. So, we'll try to swap out shards when they become necessary. But blocking these reinforcements will help. Agna will be fine. Okay. So... I want to give Bonto a chance to heal, but dragons aren't going to deal too much. I want to give him one turn to heal. Just one. I also give some of my Yoku units a chance to catch up. Let me get close. Navarre can go right here. Uh, Warren also get close. Yeah, Juice, how long did this map take you? Because this one, at least the first few fights, seemed pretty tricky. Yeah, I gotta try to give kills to Ryan, Warren, although, eh, yeah, they're about the same. Navarre. Cecile is in desperate need of EXP. She needs levels the most. She's falling behind. You stay there. You stay here. You don't recall how lo how long this took? No. I'm gonna have Sheeta back up over here. 
She's out of range. Now we got the Barbarian. Now if it just attacks Rody, good. He's either been off the fort for some reason. Dodge. Not dealing much damage. Okay. Yeah, this is why you need the strength, the strength buff. If I can Ogma weaken. Attack of 20, 12, 24, nope. Ogma's too strong. Ogma's too strong. An iron sword is just enough to kill him. If I use the steel, I can't double. But I deal 8 damage. I'm better off with the iron. Currently better with the iron. If he hits me, it's an attack of 30. Yeah. Okay. I think I want to currently uh, block the path. So let's do that. I don't want Rody to attack right now. Got a little bit of warning. Not much, but something. Turn into a Durgan. Now, if I remember correctly, last time I tried to give Cecile a dragon kill, she can't one hit KO. So if I want to give her that opportunity, Ryan needs to weaken. Or Warren. So I want to do something like this. Because she really needs it. Okay. Let's try it. Continue to attack Rhodey. I thought he might attack uh, Cheetah. I'm walking out right now. Okay. So because I am walking out at the moment, because he's attacking Rhodey, might be a level difference or something. It is in my best interest to just wait this turn and then attack him on the next turn. That will be for the best. Up here. If I have Cecile go and attack with the Worm Slayer, 39 damage, minus 12, that's 27, not enough. I may be able to double, but she doesn't have the HP to, uh, to survive if she gets hit. I could weaken a bit more with uh, Bantu, but that's still not enough. If I have Ryan attack with an uh, iron, let's just say that. That's a 12. 21 minus 12. Talking about nine damage? Nine, 
Even with the crits, it's not enough. That's good. That just makes things super easy for Cecile. That just makes things easier. Let's go. get skill, speed, defense, and HP. No attack, but skill and defense is something. She still doesn't have the HP to survive a single hit, a uh, fire breath. Not enough. Uh, just a basic heal on Bantu will be okay. Cecile could use another point of HP, then we can safely fight another dragon. Did Ryan get hit? No, he didn't, so we're, we're good on that one. So I need Bantu about here-ish. Uh, I want to get him close. I don't want to get him in range just yet. Too many people are not in range. I could go ahead and dance uh, Ryan to get him closer. That'll help. I'm not worried about Navarre, honestly. He's got enough levels to where if I want to, I can have him kill dragons. Cecile just needs to catch up. She is underleveled right now. Stand here, he's fine. Alright. Yeah, go ahead and attack Rody. Come on, Rody, I need you to dodge. Good. Ten EXP. Okay. Next. Brody is gonna go ahead and- oh, he needs another iron. Pretty sure she, uh, Sheeta has another iron, right? Like pro trade. Still not enough. Still not enough. Yeah, I have an iron. Okay. Let's spawn another one. He just needs two more fights. To level up, and hopefully he can get uh, a speed and a strength growth at the very least. If he gets a defense boost, that'd be great too. Alright. So for right now, I need Bond to right here. Okay. Ryan, you need to go here. Seal. I'm gonna set you here. Worm Slayer's better. Warren, you get close. Navarre, you go over here. And then I want Fina over here. Alright. I have a feeling those three forts are going to have reinforcements after I pass a certain point. Okay. Really? Nothing? 
we'll give it one more turn over here. If I fail and have to try this again, I think I'll have Ogma here on the first turn and Sheeta block. No, that wouldn't matter. Actually, I don't know. Okay, up here. Uh, let me double check and make sure no dragons can get in range. Yeah, we're fine. Ryan, go ahead and weaken. I mean... It's fine. I just need to heal him. I really need to prioritize this heal. I really need to prioritize you. Okay. Yeah, I, I figured it wouldn't be enough. can move up. Let's dance. Honestly, my caps have been kind of underwhelming. But granted, I, part of it could just be because uh, either, it, well, some of it could just be bad stat growths. But sometimes it's probably just that uh, there were just some areas where they weren't just that useful. They couldn't be on their horse. And more chapters like that. Ryan's going to need another heal. Okay. This one's closer. Wait a second for the ad to finish. We got uh, 55 seconds left. Let's check things. seconds. Again, just tr I just kind of try to, if the ad's playing on the moment, that I know it's going to, you know, just try to, you know, I just try to let the ad play out now. Eight, seven, six, three, two, one. All right, ad should be done. Enforcements on that side. Dang it. I only got one fight in and I didn't even get a level for Ruby. That sucks. That's not very good. Okay. In this case, everyone needs to start moving. Sadly, you have to Dismount first and then start moving. Cheetah can at least do this. Over here. Actually, I'll go ahead and let uh, Warren attack. I'll do that first. Yeah, with the iron. 
We just need a weaken. I were to use Cecile. Attack a 39 minus 12 as 27. That is enough. That is enough. Perfect. Level 9. Strength, skill, speed, weapon level, and HP. I'll take it. Now she can survive a single dragon breath. And she got more strength. Speed. I'll take it. Alright. Um. i to be careful. I am gonna go ahead and get Pontoon Range of this guy. He lands right here. Uh. Yeah, I could probably get him on the fort. Wait, do I want him on the fort? Mm. I don't know if I want him on the fort just yet. I have a feeling there's more reinforcements. If there is, I want to be prepared. Should be enough. And another heal will not level you up. Let's get you up here. Let's get you up here. In the same spots. Okay. Oh, it's because Agma uh, went off the square. Right? So it must be a certain amount of turns after. Oh, I actually deal more damage with the sword. I deal more damage. Okay. Oh, we can't get back to the square. Uh, Cheetah, go right ahead. Block the pot. Because I don't think we want more. I deal more damage with the Steel Sword. Yeah, I think... Defense of eight. Yeah, we'll just wait. Right, up here. Wait, he didn't attack? Oh, Bantu must have missed. Well, that changes things. Navarre were to attack. 42 minus 12. 30, yeah. Let's see. If I were to use the steel bow, I can't double. Okay, hold on. Lind. That's why you're here. With Blizzard, attack a 24. 19, I double. And yes, we'll use Lind. 
Bonky must have missed. That must have been what happened. given her the shards. I'll go ahead and let Bonchu get healed, at least for a little bit. Some of my other units need healing. Sometimes I didn't want to crit, you know what I mean? Cecile will be at full health now. She should be able to just go straight to fight the dragon. There shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, you get some health back. You go back to full health. Level 10. Strength, skill, speed, luck, and weapon level. That's exactly the stats I want him to have. Is there a new stat? I feel like there's like a loose hair or something. Glasses need to be cleaned. Give me a second. It should be okay for now. Okay. Down here, if I mount and if I go with the steel, I have enough attack speed. And I'll deal a lot more damage. So let's go with this. And wait. And I'll go ahead and let Agma wait here. And wait. That one level is helping. Uh, Rody. Now he can use the steel. Bantu. Oh, okay, Bantu. Let's get you in range. This is my third time transforming in this chapter. Honestly, I don't mind. I don't mind using the dragon stone. We have another one. I like this this idea of the dragon stones. Just stay transformed for a few turns. I actually like this idea. If you're gonna have a style of fire emblem where you cannot grind or something, it really seems like there's a new skin there, I think about it. Yeah, if you're gonna have a fire emblem game where there's no way to really grind other than arenas, and it's just a linear story. I think I'd rather have it this way. Or let me buy another dragon stone. Bunch is level 4, but got no stat growths. That's expected, honestly. But in current games where you could just keep grinding forever as you want to, then just let me buy them. Or something. And we got the crit. That works. I'll take it. Wow, there's very few enemies left. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and let Agma stand here. Sheeta. Let's see if another one will spawn. Cecile? Go right ahead and let's see. With an attack of 40, minus 12. 32. Wait. No, 38. Wait. No, 28. 28. But she has the HP to survive. 
and that's what really matters. She could survive a single dragon's breath. There we go. And she even got the crit. Near victory. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Just been chowing down on snacks. Oh, do what you need to do. Do what you need to do, Juice. Okay, how do I want to do this? Bontu would need to get right here. Which I can do. I'm gonna have Ryan out of the way. I want Cecile to get danced. I'm really prioritizing her right now. She's severely underleveled. I almost want another arena. Well, uh, Navarre. Let's do something like this. Then Marth can go here. We'll have Marth open the chest. We should be good on that end. Down here, yeah, we're fine. Oh good, there's another one. You got this. Perfect. If you imagine actually trying to use Bantu, at least in Book Two, you could realistically do that with shards. Just really boost up like strength, defense, and speed. Honestly, strength, defense, and speed are like the best stats to really work uh, work for. Like, there's, like, no other stat I would really want to work on. Or prioritize, I should say. Okay, go here, and you can attack. And if you get hit, you'll be fine. I'm crazy, but that's probably just the best stats in any game to prioritize. Really? Resistance? Speed, luck, weapon level. It. F I would normally probably agree with you, honestly. However, with how this game works, a lot of mages don't, if I'm correct, don't have high attack. Because, you know, why would a mage have a good physical attack? Right? And if that's the case, then their magic spells only do... Well, they don't deal that much. For Avatar Lake making the latest ones, for sure. Okay. I'm talking about this game. I think attack and... Attack, speed, and defense are your best stats to work on. Skew... skew uh, try to skew the creation to help magic resistance. Okay. Honestly, magic in basically any other game can be so good to the point where I can see why you wouldn't want high, high magic resistance. I can see that. This game, though? Yeah, not really. I don't see it. Uh, if I were to attack... Actually, do I want to attack? 19... That's what I was worried about. Didn't even get a level. Sadly, I can't risk that. We need to wait. We need to let Rody get healed. Because in this game, mages get more magic attack when their attack is boosted. But if they're mages, so they rarely get attacked. So a lot of mages are just underpowered. So you don't really need resistance. That dragon's not gonna move. 
do I even need to? I could probably just do this. I'm attacking 41. 29. Yeah, I'll be fine. You're at full health. A lot of mages, a lot of the enemy mages that I can think of are pretty underpowered. I could get- I could either get her to level 11. Or, yeah, you know what? Let's get her to level 11. So... I'm gonna want to heal her. Let's get her over here. I mean, re any points in resistance is nice, don't get me wrong. I feel like in this game it's not as needed. It's best to dodge dragon attacks, yeah, pretty much. Skill, luck, weapon level, defense, and HP. Yeah, you're not gonna level up from this. So if I heal. She needs to stand on the fort. Okay. Uh, Bantu, let's get you closer. Actually, speaking of settings... Let me check something. Message? Oh, I could speed it up a bit. Let's try that. I don't know what some of these other things are, but... Kind of weird. I basically have a main team, so I'm just trying to have some of the other units catch up in levels so they can actually be useful. Oh, we got the Pisces! I didn't realize we were still missing one. Speaking of which, let me pull up the shards because I forgot to pull that up. Pisces, what does that do? 10 HP, 10 luck, 10 defense, 10 res. No drawbacks, but nothing too great. But we could stack it with... If I'm really wanting resistance, we can stack it with Virgo. Attack Bantu. Ten damage. Yeah, Rhodey's still not there yet. 
and Bonsu is now not a dragon. Wait, did, did he not get healed? Huh, weird. Uh, how do I want to handle this? If you were to go up and attack... Attack of 41, 29, yeah, I would be risking it. You know what? What's handed to Navar? He's at full health. I don't want to like, spend another turn or anything. Let's just hand it to Navar. He's got this. There we go. Navar, you are at level 14. Strength, skill, luck, and that's it. We've put the Ryan's Bolt in storage. Well, no defense, but we got the strength. Oh, this build doesn't really work on defense. That makes sense. Well, at least we got the strength. He's almost capped on speed. Yeah, I think I almost want him with the other set, but, you know, this is something. Um... Okay, you know what I am going to do, though, since she is, like, one heal away from leveling up? give her that level. And hopefully we can get a strength boost. Let's move here. Trade. Everything. Trade everything. Oh, right. I can't trade everything. Uh... Strength boosting ones, we want Gemini. Uh, Scorpio is 20. And then we want Aquarius. There we go. There, she gets that level. And we got strength and speed strength, speed, luck, and weapon level. Perfect. Now she can heal better. That's what we need. More of that. Mark, we need to just continue on. Down here, Rudy. believe there are not going to be any other reinforcements. Let's see. I might as well just let you trade everything back over. You can just sit here. Everyone get out of the way. More reinforcements. Okay. We'll spend a little bit of time working on this guy. Oh, we get a crit. Thank you, Rody. Come on, can we get something good? Level 11, strength, speed, weapon level, defense. Perfect. That is perfect. Marth, uh, we'll go ahead and let you go here. I might as well let you... Eh, I don't need to dance him. At least I don't think so. 
Uh, Rody's at full health. We'll just leave him be. There may be another set of reinforcements, and I want him to have it. Perfect. Yeah, I want to give Rody the EXP. Actually, no, I'm probably going to wait for another set of reinforcements anyway. So we can do that. Down here. I dealt 10 damage? Yeah, I could do it. Come on, Rody, you got this. Good, good, perfect. Now we can see her. I think I'll just end the turn. Are there more reinforcements? There are. Rody's finally getting his chance to shine. Good. Keep dodging, Rody. Get those crits. I'm getting lucky on these crits, aren't I? But yeah, when it comes to, like... Oh, strength, speed, weapon, defense. Perfect. This is good. This is good. But yeah, when it comes to like creative characters stuff, I either go with, you know, your basic sword user, because honestly, like, they're tried and true, they're really good. They're pretty solid as is. Also, most of the time they're like the canonical uh one. And usually like their legendary weapon is a sword, so like I usually go with like the canonical version. If not that. I either like to go with some sort of martial artist or a mage. Of course, that's okay. But I'll just in the turn. Five seconds on it. I'll let the ad finish. Again, been trying to let ads play out. should be done. Oh, that seems to be the end for reinforcements. Actually, you know what I am going to do just in case. I have Ogma go here. Okay. We're just going to leave it there. That seems to be the end of it. Alright. I don't want to summon dragons. I am not doing that. So let's just seize the castle. Phew! <coughs> we finally passed the Fire Dragon's Valley. Are you okay, Marth? Uh, yeah, I'm fine, Zane. You said that there were other wild dragons elsewhere. Is that true? Hmm? Mm, the majority of the Dragon Tribe doesn't listen to the Elder's advice, and we're lost. Those that survived didn't really stay at a single place. Aside from the Fire Dragon's Valley, there is also the Wyvern Valley, the Ice Dragon Shrine, and the Dragon's Table. 
dragon's altar. Okay, wait a minute. Nope, that's, uh... Is it dragon's table or is it dragon's altar? Pick one. You need to pick one. <laughs> or, or does it mean dragon's shrine? Either way, something's wrong there. Behind the mountains of Medon is a graveyard of mage dragons. That is also where the earth dragons sleep. Earth dragons. There are other earth dragons besides Medeus? Of course! Amongst the dragon tribe, they are the closest in strength to the divine dragons and possess tremendous power. They didn't agree with the elders and left to form their own group. They currently reside at the Deluna region, but their fate didn't change. Eventually, the earth dragons all lost their minds, and together with the mage dragons and the flying dragons, who had also degenerated, started to attack humans. Of course, humans could not hope to stand up to them. Humans also became extinct, and almost become extinct, and in the end were forced to a single corner of the continent. Then at that time, Naga, the king of the divine dragons, the strongest of all dragons, commanded his tribe to begin a battle to protect the humans. It was a difficult battle, but in the end, Naga was victorious. He sealed the earth dragons underneath Doluna and sent them to a deep sleep. To prevent the seal's strength from weakening, he created the Shield of the Five Spheres and left it at the Fane of Ramon. But that is already ancient history. In fact, it occurred over 1,000 years ago. Really? I find it under I, I finally understand. The guardian god, Naga, of legends was actually the king of the divine dragons. Naga, who helped ma mankind. Okay. I mean, they had the same name. You'd think uh, you, they were the same person. Whatever. Those events become legend that has been passed on even now. But if that was the case, why was the Divine Sword Falchion left behind for humans? Hmm. That is the Dragon Buster, a sword designed to defeat dragons. Naga felt pity for the humans that could not protect themselves, so he crafted it from his own fang. The sword was sealed within the Fane of Ramon, among, along with the shield. Ah, okay. And a powerful spell, spell was cast on the temple, so that only divine dragons could enter it. After that, Naga left behind a will to his own people, which was to, uh, to protect mankind. Finally, he placed the newly born Tiki into a deep sleep, thus ending the remaining 5,000 years of his life. So you can see why Goto is still faithfully follow, still faithfully follows his orders. Huh? Zonic? Could it be? Hmm? Goto is a divine dragon. Okay. What? You thought there was just me? Wait, Zane, you're a dragon too? Wait, Zane? I, I still don't understand. What exactly did you mean? Phew, my throat is really dry. I agree, Zane. I can't stand the heat anymore. Mark, let's hurry up along. Is Zane also a dragon? And Goto was a dragon the entire time. Who knew dragons can use actual magic? And you know what's weird? Because I played uh, the Shadow Dragon remake on DS, you're able to recruit Naga. As well as Goto, I believe. So it's very strange seeing how the sequel works be like, wait, how do we have access to Naga? <coughs> as well as Goto. Now that I think about it. This truly is an unimaginably treacherous journey. Treacherous journey. 5,000 meters. No, higher than that. Looking down, a sea of clouds can be seen. They have reached the summit of the cold mountain peak. Breathing is difficult. Dizziness is felt. Their vitality is fast approaching its limits. Okay. Didn't die today so far. That's good. That's a good sign. What's with those earthworm gems over there? Those earth dragons. What do we got? What are these? Oh, they're ice dragons. 
Okay. Bontu's not gonna really help me, is he? I mean, he can help me. But I gotta be careful. It works both ways. Okay, let's see. So we got a couple thieves. Double sword. Double sword. Silver axe, silver axe. Well, not too complicated, but it's a twisty turny map. But not many en enemies here. Yeah, there's a bunch of silver axe users. This guy, this dragon has a hero's crest. Huh. Did I check this group? Barbarians, barbarians. Yep. So far, you know, again, I'm going to point out we have yet to actually have an axe user. We we are, what, 12 chapters in and we still don't have an axe user. That is just so strange. It makes me feel like I did something wrong. How many can I take? Okay. Um, I could take Bantu with me. Or I could just let uh, Navar handle it with Worm Slayers, as well as well, Cecile currently has the other one, but I could probably trade it over. Um, I should probably bring Julian in. Look at the bench. Oh, this is chapter 13. My bad. My bad. But you know, you know what I mean. 13 chapters in, and we still don't have an axe user. I'm just... Now I'm just double-checking. Yeah. No other axe users. And Ubello has been benched right now. I still need to actually... Give Drog one level. I still need to promote him. But it's kind of hard to bring him in. Okay, let's see. Do I really need Ogma? I don't know. Okay. So I still need to work on Sheeta. I still need to work on Navar. Brody and Cecile as well. Bantu... Bantu has to attack first to make it worth it. Actually, now that I think about it. I think we'll bench Bantu. Take Julian. Let's see. I still need Drog to have one more level. Are we going to run into another arena at some point? Because I might hold off on Bantu. Or, uh, Drog. Because there is an achievement to promote an armor unit. And I'm assuming it's with a Knight's Crest. Uh, let me take a look. Uh, yeah, Knight's Crest. Cavaliers and armors, yeah. Even though I really should be using them on my calves, but... For the achievement, I need at least to promote them once. Two Orion's Bolts, that's good. One Guiding Ring, which we're getting close to using. She needs two more levels. Lind is still, like, could use eight. Bello has been benched right now. Honestly, uh, let's trade this over. Who had? Was that right? I thought she had a steel sword. Oh no, wait, she had the... She had the lady sword. That... Okay. 
I don't know. And then I, uh, I think it was this. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and let... Do this training too. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and trade the Worm Slayer over to Marth. We'll do that. Because Marth could use some levels too. Alright, I think we'll try this. Marth. Is Marth falling behind? Is he the lowest level one? No, Sheeta is up by one by one level. Oh no, Cecile is. Kind of getting close to the point where I need to actually prioritize Marth a bit. Let's try it. No bond two. We'll see how much that messes up. Sane, we've already climbed this high. It's so cold. Even breathing is hard. We're almost there. Look, can you see over there? That's the Ice Dragon Shrine, where Goto is. That's. But that was quite a shock. Tiki is actually the daughter of the Divine Dragon King. Also, both Goto and you are Divine Dragons? Uh, when the Divine Dragons fought the Earth Dragons, they overexhausted their Dragon Stones, and so practically became extinct. Aside from Naga, only Goto and me and the Justborn Tiki survived. However, after the war, we discarded our Dragon Stones, so we can no longer become dragons again. Even so, I still have knowledge and power that exceeds that of humans. Goto followed Naga's orders to protect humans, but that got nothing to do with me. I don't like humans. They scorned the Manikets, even though they had lost their power and treated them like filth. I can fully understand why Medeus and the others hated humans so much. The Earth Dragon King, Medeus, tricked his own tribe to become and become a Manikat by himself. He used to follow Naga's orders and guarded the dragon's temple table. However, the once docile humans finally achieved power and became aggressive. They even started to attack the Manikets that lived in peace. The Manikets were also were angered by the betrayal of humans and gathered at the Deluna region. They formed their own kingdom of Manikets and began a war to conquer the humans. To save humans, Goto handed the Falchion to Onri and created an Academy of Magic at Kaden. But whoever won wasn't any of my concern. And why are you helping me? I'm also a human. You're different from the others. You don't seem like an unreliable person either. Hmm. Thank you, Zane. Don't... don't be silly. I get embarrassed. Anyway, let's head to the temple. But be careful of the Ice Dragons. Although they're also wild dragons, they will instinctively try to protect their temple. Poor guys. Still no warp staff now that I think about it. Um, that thief, I believe, is going to head up and around to get to here. Whereas this thief is going to head that way. Let's see. I need to be able to attack this one from range. your defense? F 15 defense? Wow. Can I get wind right here? No. However, I think... Yeah, I'm gonna dance. Yeah, I need to be careful. This first ice dragon is in a weird spot. I almost want to rearrange, just so Lind is, like, over here. Like, get her in this spot right here. Okay. I want to make sure she's out of range of the barbarians. I could put her here. Uh... I might as well have... Ten resistance, you need a lot. Okay. I'm safe here, but that's about it. 
I want... Let's see. Uh, who has my... Who do I want over here? I probably should send... Send Cecile this way. They are barbarians, not bandits. So sadly, Lady Sword is not gonna be able to do anything. I'll send... No, I don't know where I wanna send Julian. I guess I'll send Julian this way. I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. Let's get... I think I want Rhodey and Navarre over here. Actually, I could have Sheeta go up here. And start attacking. But I think I want to hold off. I want to be careful. Magma, you can stand here. Bar. Yeah, we'll try that. I'll send Ryan over here to potentially help out. Well, that's probably about it. Let's see how this goes. Oh, they're on the move too. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's going to change things. Of at least one. She gets hit. But at least she can survive. That definitely helps. Skill, speed, weapon level, defense. No attack, but we'll take the defense boost. Okay. Wasn't expecting the thief to go there. I feel like I need to bring in Elfire. Or am I just gonna have Lin take care of this? Yeah, I think Lin's just gonna fight the dragons. I guess that's the plan. Let's see. I got a little bit of time before those dragons show up. So I'm going to go ahead and let Rhodey head this way. Yeah, you stay with that. Too forward from the wind. So I can safely go here. Honestly, this chapter doesn't seem the worst. It's just getting past these dragons seem to be the toughest part right now. Let's see. Ten? Back to twenty-one. But I double. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do this. Feeling he wouldn't be able to level up from that. He's close. I kind of don't really want to get in range. We're going to heal. So, 10 HP plus strength. So, 17. Close enough. Yeah. Yeah, just one point off. We'll take it. 
This thief is not an issue. Uh, and honestly, looking at it, looking at this, Julian should just go to the right. Uh, I, I think I'm just gonna leave everyone mostly where they are. I gotta, I, I gotta prepare for the ice dragons. There's a lot of them. We have Lind get in range of one of them. Fight. Honestly, once I get past this set of dragons and get rid of the thieves, this doesn't seem that bad. The question is, does Rody get hit? to dodge. in total. Yay! I might as well see what was in that chest. Must have been gold. Must have been gold. Okay. I'll try this again. Let's go on. I want to rearrange so that Lind is closer to the Ice Dragon. But other than that, it's like the only thing. So I want Lind here, actually. So I'm going to do this. Could have Ryan and Cecile go to the left again. It wasn't the worst. But I think I'm gonna have Navar be the one to fight the the barbarians on the right. I would hand it to Ogma, but he doesn't need the EXP yet. So I think we'll go Cecile. Actually. Yeah, and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and let Rody trade everything over to Navar. There we go. Getting everything right. Okay. So Cecile and Ryan are going to the left. Lind needs to get in range of the first uh, ice dragon. Aura. As long as I'm out of range of that guy, I'm fine. So I can go right here. Make sure Aura is equipped. And I want to make sure I'm out of range of this guy, so honestly. Navar can only go like one square up. Julian will head to the right. Where's Cecile? on the side, but we're going to let Navar handle it. He should be able to dodge. Key word is should. 
You know, that's the key word right here. She'll probably get hit, and that sucks. Yeah, so she's gonna need healing. Strength, skill, speed, defense, and HP. You know what? I prefer that level instead. changes all that much. It just means Rody needs healing. Let's try this again. Oh, of course you get hit. Oh, now you get the crit. Okay, three people need healing. Twenty seconds on the air. I think everyone else just gets over here, I guess. Looks like ads done. Uh, Novar is in danger. Let's see how this goes. No weapon advantage, so that's part of the problem. You need to dodge. You need to dodge too. Can you do it? Good. That's one. Far, you got one more to dodge. You gotta dodge one more. Strength, speed, luck, weapon level, defense. That's good. But can he keep it? 
this a real question? Of course. Bye, Navar. It was a 55. It was a basically a coin flip. Alright. Yeah. So, let's see. How do I want to handle this? I think I'm worrying too much about getting to the, the thief in time. I think the thief is just gonna... I think I just need to fight these guys one at a time. I think I'm worrying too much. About getting to all of the barbarians as soon as possible. I think the thief will still continue to go after the other treasure chests, giving me some time. Um... Or I can have Katria or Agma. Go ahead and go after them. But I don't really want to do that. Uh, I can't think of anything else I would want. Let's just go. Okay, let's try this again. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and let Lind sand in here. There we go. That works out. I can't stand here. Okay. Cecile, go ahead. Flip your steel. Ryan, you get close to help out. Stand right here. Go right there. That's about it. Not much more I can really do. I tried to get Lind ready to fight those ice dragons. That's gonna be an issue though. But I want her to be ready. Cecile, can you dodge like once in your life? Oh good. You did it. You dodged. And you got a crit too. Great, you can stay there and keep fighting. That works. Level 11, strength, skill, speed, weapon level. Perfect. I could probably have Ryan fight that one. Okay. Perfect. Good, I had a word. Of course you get hit. It's not like you're in the forest or anything. Jeez, when I put myself in a good position to dodge, I still get hit. And of course she gets the crit on the second one. No, Lind, don't get the crit on the first hit. Waste two hits anyway. I guess I'll just take this slowly, at least for the first Barbarian. Let's make sure the steel is equipped.
bling, go here. I might get close. That's your money. Okay. So if I heal, I heal for 17. But that's not enough. I have to use a mend. I want her at full health. We're nowhere near four. Okay. Yeah. I have to do that. Or waste two heals. Luckily, we have some mechs. Yeah, I think I'm just, like, worried too much about getting to the thief. And that's just getting me killed. Honestly, this is actually good. They're kind of split between going to Cecile versus uh, Lind and the other group. That'll help. That'll help in the long run. Go Navarre! Alright, Cecile. Let's see what you can do. Good, you dodged. And you get the crit too. This is going well. This is going really well for her. Perfect. The thief is gonna keep moving that way. That one's gonna open the chest. I also realize we still don't have a silver card. I wonder if I messed up something. I'm just gonna let you attack. Wait, no. Avoid five. I'll let you get attacked. Ryan, you go ahead and attack speed of eight. If I use the steel, 24. Nope. I basically. I should use the iron. And we get a crit. I'll take it. Okay, next. Over here. ahead and let Navarre attack. He currently has all the stat boosts and stuff. Of course he gets hit. Of course he gets hit. Why wouldn't he? I could get someone in range. Go ahead and let Roby go here. He's in range of one barbarian, not the other. And we'll get close. Let's, Let's go ahead and heal Navar. That's close enough. I'll take it. Alright. Sure, I want Akma to be ready. Can we get Lind in range? No. I want her to get, like, over here. Dao will help out. If I could get past those ice dragons, that would definitely make things easier. Julian, just kind of... 
Marth has the other Worm Slayer. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. More Ice Dragons from the fort. Okay. I wonder how many of those are going to spawn. take it. No defense, but I'll take the strength and speed. Cecile, how low are you gonna do? Ouch. Well, she finally got hit. It was about, it was about time, you know? Level 12, strength, skill, speed, weapon level. Okay, I'll take it. He's gonna just cross the river. I guess he could do that. No one's going after Cecile. Okay. Let's see how I want to handle this. Navar can't make it unless I dance. I almost want to get rid of the thief. I'm just gonna have Navar get rid of the thief. Or try to. Attack at 23, and his accuracy is 90. Ouch. You know, actually, I don't think I need to do that. So, Navar, you need to go one square up. Let's go ahead and dance Navar. I'm so glad we have a dancer now. Makes things so much better. didn't get the crit, I would have had Rhodey go up. Strength, speed, luck. I'll take it. Uh, Rhodey needs healing. I'll just heal. It. Rody, go up here and with the attack speed of probably probably need eight, right? No, he's he has an attack speed of two. Jeez, I can use a seal. Twenty-two. And it doesn't really matter now, does it? I'll use the iron. Come on, Rody, you got this. There, it worked out. What did I get? Yeah, we got gold that was from the chest. Okay, that's safe. Now we gotta do the dragons. Lind is gonna say exactly where she's at. She is not gonna move. Everyone else? Uh, Agma, Marth, Julian, you can start moving up. There we go. Safe. Okay. Cecile needs healing. Let's see. I think I can 
go like right here. If I line up correctly, yeah, we'll be fine. So I could go all the way here and be completely safe, and I'll have a rush over this way. There's a lot of ice dragons here, I gotta be careful. And Lind has to probably be the one to take out most of them. Actually, Mark can fight one. He has the worst there. Okay, good, good. Lind, you dodged. We need more of those. Again. Lind as a mage is only good because of the Aura Tone. It does help that I gave her a bunch of strength and speed boosts from her levels. Skill, speed, luck. No strength. It does help. But she's good because of Aura, not necessarily because Lind herself is that great. That's the problem with this particular the Mark duology. I don't think the remakes have the problem of the DS ones, because they actually have a magic stat. So, Lind can just use, move two squares back and be safe. Or we can set her three, sw three squares back once we're done. Set her here. Two squares back. Yeah. Two squares back. Too many dragons, they're too far away. Can't get close. Actually, I should be in the bar. We'll do that. Okay. Right now, I kind of need to speed up my process. Kind of near 2 o'clock. So... Well, I don't need a rush. I can't afford to really slow down. Again, I got stuff going on a little later. And I definitely want to try to finish the map if possible. More ice dragons! What a shock! I think Lind is going to be MVP for this chapter. I should definitely give her her stuff. Shards. Oh well. She'll get what she can get. Come on, Lind, you got this. Sixteen damage. Aura. Of course you get the crit. Of course! It's always on the second hit. dragons. The other two are too far away. The other two ice dragons are too far away. Marth, you can get in range of... Let's get one of them. Okay. Attack of 44. With a defense of 15. 29. Oh my god. He is one point off! Marth is one point off. That's sad. But with the crit, it doesn't matter. Come on, Marth. Good level. Skill, luck, and HP. Not really that great. Not really that great of a level. 
Alright. How do I want to do this? Navarre? You can fight someone. Slayer? And with a crit too. kind of hoping for one on the first hit. You know, three for three. There we go. And what do we get? Strength, skill, speed, luck by two, and weapon level. Ooh. So we got the strength boost, that's helpful. Her lux is at 18. Weapon level, I'm not worried about. So yeah, she, uh, Lind is doing good now. I mean, needs a lot more strength, but we gotta try to get what we can get. Okay. Um, so I still gotta worry about these dragons. There's a secret shop somewhere here. Kaka saw the growth going past 100% and said, hmm, I like that idea. <laughs> Four and five happened, right. I like the idea of growth rates going past 100% chance to boost. Let's just keep that going. I ain't gotta worry about these flyers. Uh... Ryan and Warren going then. Cecile will go with them so she can trade off the, the shards. Everyone else? I guess we'll just stay behind. Man, I really hope that ends soon. Although, Lind is getting a lot of benefit out of this. Now that the big threats have been out of the way right now, most of the dragons are gone. And now it's just like a set of barbarians left. Okay. Move up one square. I'm gonna try to give her strength boost. Martha and Navarre just kinda do that. to go up here. Just wait. I guess Rhodey can go this way. Okay, Sheeta needs training soon as well. Don't know who to have her fight, though. Those barbarians might be too much on her. I guess I'll go ahead and dance with Ryan. So that way he gets farther up. He is literally one EX point from get to, getting to level 15. I know there'll be an ad plane soon, but I gotta just keep going. I need to get someone, like, right here. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, Lind. Can you do this without getting hit? Yeah, you can. And again, I still have another hammer if I want to replenish or uh There you go. Too bad she didn't get the crit on the first hit. Just, I forget, did genealogy have anything like the uh, uh, the star shards or the scrolls from 5? Or did they take them out of 4? I forget. Because I don't remember if uh, genealogy had stuff like that. I want to say Path of Radiance had something. I can't think of many Fire Emblem games that have growth rate modifiers. Other than like the skill and awakening, where only like Dono gets because he's a villager. The villager has like a a skill that like doubles the growth rates. Or something. Not that it really matters. You could literally cap cap out all your stats in in those games. Yeah, I just gotta keep going. He's healing. Level 15, skill, speed, luck, weapon level, HP. No strength. That sucks. But we got other stats. We got other stats, though. Yeah. At least she can double most things with Aura. And if not, if she's not using Aura, she can double a lot. Uh, I think Wind should just head down here. Let's go ahead and mend. Because I want her topped off. Oh, dang it. Speed and... Uh, I didn't catch she was about to level up. I didn't catch that. One 
one square to the left will do it. It's going to be tricky because we're going to have to deal with another set of barbarians. We're going to have to basically take care of them one at a time. More or less. While still dealing with ice dragons. But we got there. Actually, I don't remember one spawning. I don't think any one spawned. Actually, uh, this is the last one. Can you cross the river? Okay. Uh, Ryan, right here. Okay. Going far this way. Also have Gwynn head up there. Might as well let her dance. The sooner we can get in rage of the ice dragon, the better. Level seven skill, speed, luck, weapon level, and HP. Plus. More ice dragons. Maybe it's every other turn. I almost want to get that place plugged. Ah, of course you get hit. Skill speed, sp skill by two, luck and weapon level. Okay. By the way, Juice, I know there is a secret shop here, uh, but I only have so much more time. Can you give me a hint on where it's at so I can try to figure it out? I might have to just look it up anyway, but for right now, I just kind of want to hint. This spot seems very suspicious, but that seems too obvious. It's too close. There could be something over here. Well, honestly, this feels suspicious right here. This here, too. I don't know. There's plenty of spots. Got rid of one flyer, that helps. It's at the patch on the bottom left? What, like this? There's somewhere over there? You were supposed to give it a hit. Ah, it's fine. I only have so much time anyway. Uh, you currently have to be at the guard. Marth can open chess. I'll let him do that. I want Sheeta to head over this way anyway. Because if I give her the opportunity to, I want her to plug that. 
It's fine. I only have so much time right now anyway. I need to, uh... I need to speed this up. I'll allow it this time, Juice. Your mistake shall be... Your mistake shall be ignored. Okay, Lind. Level 16. Strength, skill, speed, luck, defense. Nice. Okay. Julian, you go this way. Sheeta, you follow along. We're going to fly her at the moment. You have her good in range right now. 17 would be. Wait, how much strength do you have? I need to use a mend. I have to use the mend staff. She needs to be topped off. Luckily, I have more. Actually, wait, 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 no, no, no. Okay, let's give Navarre these. These are strength boosting ones. He needs defense, but he also needs strength. Good. Exactly in range of one. Martha's gonna be the one to open chests. Other flyer, where can you go? Uh, we basically need to head to this chest. Or head down here. Either way, it's going to take a little bit before I take out the other flyer. Julian's gonna go for the secret shop. Do you mind double checking if it is in that bottom left corner? Because again, I only have so much more time left. West? Okay. Alright. Of course Lynn gets hit. Why wouldn't she? And go ahead, get rid of it. I hate that she gets crits on the second hit. She she's been doing that a lot. out okay. Dance. We'll get Navar healed. And then we should be able to get him in range of one? Oh wait, he might be in range of two. Hold on. 
Okay, no, wait. No, he'd be in range of one. Let's just use a heal. I think we'll be fine. Okay, let me double check my math. an attack of 26. Yeah, we're fine. Just move one square down. These guys can't cross the river, right? Yeah. It's weird. Like, this river? No, nah, we can't cross it. But, like, the river in Chapter 9? Yeah, of course Astrum's team can cross it. Why wouldn't you? I already know Julian can cross and just suck it. Oh, Agma could too. Level 16, strength, skill. That's it. Fine. Whatever. Um. Gotta be careful. Let's see. Can I get in range of only one of them? Not really. Hmm. This is not a good spot, actually. I might need to rush in. Because whoever goes here has to be able to tank. And you know what? Defensive 17. We'll have Ogma do it. He is going to equip the iron. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, I don't see any other ice dragons moving or spawning, I should say. That's a good sign. Maybe we can give the KOs to someone else, but if not, I'll probably survive this. Okay. I already know Navar can handle that. Strength, defense, and HP. I was trying to give him resistance, but hey, it's what we can do. See? It's a good thing I brought Agma. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and let Agma back up. He can stand in the river for all I care. Uh, someone else needs to move. Great. So I wouldn't... Go ahead and let Marth have one. The attack of 26. Be fine. Yeah, I'll go ahead and let Marth have one. 
the steel. Oh well. Okay. That opens that up. We still got one more flying dragon. I need Ryan on that uh, forest tile. Hasn't been hit yet, so that's good. Again, gonna have a mark open the chest. Var the dragon kill? I may hand it to Wind, I'm not sure. Although Wind needs healing. Well, let's use up the last mend. I could grab a new one out of storage. Let's grab a mend. Oh, I only have one spare mend on me. Oh well, that's fine. I usually don't... don't usually use it, but it's nice to have. Kind of just follow the... Oh, I can't... I can't go this way. Navarre can't go that way. Okay, we have to go around. Oh, I didn't catch that. Someone like Ogma could, but... Uh, actually, Marth can probably cross that river. I think he has the movement. But everyone else needs to just keep moving. Yeah, I think Marth might be able to go here and here. So Marth can at least get to the chest sooner. In fact, I'm gonna have him do that right now. Navarre because I was stupid. Okay, whatever. I'm still gonna have Ryan attack him. I was dumb. Twelve movement is a lot to work with. Imagine if this game had the movement uh, chance to boost like in five. Imagine that. Seventeen strength and skill. 
All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. He's almost capped out on strength. You know, we probably don't need to have him focus on strength anymore. He'll probably get a few more strength boosts from uh, the promotion. Honestly, you know what game would have really used the speed boost chance or the movement boost? Genealogy. I think genealogy could have been uh, could have been useful if they had that. All that's left is the ice dragon. Or the boss ice dragon, I should say. I'll probably give the kill to Navar, maybe. Yeah, he can use it. Secret shop? That felt too obvious. I'm too close to the beginning. Okay. Um. I'll buy a physics staff. I can buy killer bows for my two archers. Castor has one, so I only need to buy one. Uh, I don't need a killer lance. Shaver, I don't need. Bulganon? I'll buy one. So far, I'm only using one mage. I think that'll be good. Alright, we visited the secret shop. Alright, who's left? I have a killer bow for each of my archers. And I'll take one from Caster anyway, so... so yeah, Ryan, I think it'll be best if we prioritize speed defense for his stack groves. Those were mostly strength boosting ones. Yeah. Speed and defense mostly. He's probably gonna get one or two strength boosts just by just naturally. this just in case. Everyone needs to just keep on moving. I don't know, like, that looked like a spot to a secret shop, but to be honest, I thought it might have been, like, too obvious. I thought that might have been too obvious. Or I should say, it's too close to the beginning, you know? Like, you can easily get to it. Kind of weird. It's kind of like, nah, there's nothing there. Is that it? Julian, yeah, I guess. You know what's funny is, with the shards, you can actually utilize a thief. If you just get some, get the right stat boosts, you can actually utilize them. Oh, we finally have the boots. We finally have the boots. Oh no, who do I hand those to? Last time I gave them to Len. Because I don't like a healer not being able to catch up to anyone else, you know? I'd still may consider doing that. But there's also the dancer, you know? Four? An extra four movement is ridiculous. I don't know, I may still give them to my healer. move on a dancer is nice too, yeah. There, there are multiple options to, uh, treat it. I like to, like, I gave him to Lena, so that way my healer can just make it to someone that really needs some extra help. 
and heal them. Um, putting them on Marth is a good idea because, you know, main character. On a dancer is nice, so you can easily get to someone else that could use the extra movement for whatever reason. But, you know, there are many, there are many ways to handle it. Okay, Navar, you were to attack. An attack of 44, minus 15, a double. Not sure. Yeah, we're fine. Navar's got it. Navar doesn't got it because. Of... Actually, no. No, he's still, he's still fine. Actually, no, he's not fine. Marth, it's going to you then. My B. I, ugh, I messed up. It's going to Marth. There we go. Fine. Whatever. Level 14 skill, luck, and HP. And we got a hero crest. Alright. I think that's about it. I don't think there's anything else I would want to do. Let's just move on. Hey, Zane. Goto really didn't mention anything about the five spheres, but I thought they were very important. Do you know anything about them? Goto was afraid of shocking you, so he didn't say anything. I will tell you. However, after I've told you, you probably think it was better off not knowing. The spheres rest... Uh, the, the spheres rest on the shield that seals the earth dragons. Basically, they are part of the binding shield. Since ancient times, the divine dragons have passed down these sacred jewels, each possessing different powers. To put it simply, the shield is just a, pet, uh, a pedestal, pedestal, and the five spheres are what create the power of this field. I don't really have time to just wait around, though. So if any of the spheres are is lost, the seal will weaken. Hmm, is that so? But how come the spheres were sh uh, scattered? Wait, is the ad done for you, Juice? Uh, because the shield was broken. The binding shield was display uh, was displayed at the fane of Ramon, and it was stolen by somebody who ended up breaking it. When did that happen? Around 600 years ago. To recover the shield, Koto spent many years searching for the, searching the lands. In the end, he only found the five spheres with the shield nowhere to be seen. It was like a 10 second ad. Wow. That's weird. Because the ads still say it's got like five seconds left. Maybe it was just for you that it's only 10 seconds. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, only He only found the five spheres with the shield nowhere to be seen. Not only that, but the five spheres which it, he painfully collected were scattered again after the fa uh, after the fane of Ramon was attacked in the previous war. Really? So that was why Goto was looking for the lost, lost jewels. The, the spheres? Yep, the star, light, and geo, as well as the dark and life spheres. The light sphere is, go in, is in Goto's possession, the Star Sphere was scattered, or was shattered, and the Dark Sphere was given to Harden by Garneth. The Geosphere is in Altea, and all that remains is the Life Sphere. Ah, uh, anyway, let's enter the temple. From now on, I'll also help you fight. Well, let's go. We'll save the game. I gotta wrap it up. I don't really have more time. Uh, we'll go through the achievements that I did get very quick. Uh, okay, so let's see. We beat chapter 12 and chapter 13. I don't, we didn't really recruit anyone. Uh, yeah. After that, we got the secret shop in chapter 13. So that's really it. That's all the new ones we got. Anyway, 
Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link at the back page. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't really continue. I got stuff going on, so... Yeah, uh, for now, next time, next week, we'll do Chapter 14. Anyway, have a good day.